friends, Ashley here. We are just gonna have a little chit chat today. I wanna give you a little update about what's been going on in my life for the last couple of weeks. I have a new obsession. I got a sick obsession. I'm seeing it in my dreams. I don't think it's a sick obsession, but I'm probably seeing it in my dreams. You can't laugh at how lame you may think that this is, but I am obsessed with reading romance novels. Listen, I told you not to laugh. This is a serious problem. I literally cannot put these damn books down. <laughs> You guys, like, holy cow. Did you know that there's like a whole, just a, a category of romance novels that are just really good books that they just, you just can't put them down. I didn't know this. I didn't know this at all. The only books I've ever read have been like the occasional random nutrition book for some reason. And then I do love to read a lot of personal development books, but I started with a book called Beach Read. I don't have it out here with me, but I'll put a picture of it up here. It's called Beach Read, and it was a phenomenal book. I love that. And then I started reading The Love Hypothesis, and then I read Georgie All Along, and then I read this one called Love on the Brain. This is all within like a week, okay? That's how obsessed I am. I, I have not gotten anything accomplished because I've been reading romance novels. And you guys, this book right here, this one, Love on the Brain. Seriously, go get it right now. It is absolutely amazing. I think I read this one the fastest out of all of those books I just mentioned. Like this one was literally within like a day and a half. Again, I haven't been doing anything else other than reading books. Let me tell you how all of this started. I had a really crappy day at the hospital. So I come home from work, I get a shower, I put on warm, fuzzy PJs and I just get cozy in those and I mix myself up some vanilla vodka with some orange crush, which is a phenomenal combination, by the way. I had had two of those, was feeling a little bit tipsy. I get on Instagram, which I haven't been on in a while, and you know, I'm scrolling through Instagram, and I see an ad for book of the month, and I thought, ah, screw it, I'll sign up for this, why not? I'm drinking, this is what I do. Oh man, this is just, this, this went downhill real fast. <laughs> So I signed up for book of the month. Now I, I'm actually loving it. I'm already on my second month. I just got three books in the other day. It's a really cool um, subscription. I'll have it linked down below if you wanna check it out in case you don't see the ad on your Instagram. But they have like a list of so many books that are available as the book of the month. And you can choose which book you want. And then you can also add books into your box. So my first box that I got was actually these two books. So it was Georgie All The Way and Love On The Brain. My other box, um, I just got it the other day. I don't remember what they are. But anyways, I picked out the book of the month and then I added two books to it. Well, because I didn't wanna wait on those books, I went to a local bookstore that we have, which is about 40 minutes away. It's called Wheatberry Books. Oh, you can even see what I'm showing you. Look, I even got me a hoodie at Wheatberry Books. Okay, so I go up there and I buy Two or three more, but like you guys, I have gone down this romance novel rabbit hole. So then I'm on Pinterest, okay? Like I'm, I'm serious, this has been a rabbit hole, okay? It's gonna get stranger as we go, so be prepared. But I get on Pinterest and I learn that people make these miniature bookshelves and they make little books that go on their bookshelf. Well, guess what I did? You're damn right. I made little mini books and I wanna make a little miniature bookshelf like, look, look at how cute that is. It's a little miniature book. What? And I'm, I wanna build the bookshelf and I want, I want to just create all of these things. I wanna get a jar so they take, they take the book off their bookshelf once they read it and they put it inside of a jar to keep track of the books. Like, this is a whole thing. And then, I, I, you know, I went down the rabbit hole of miniature things and I learned that people, there's like a whole tribe of people, this whole community of people who build little things. They get like kits or they order little things. There's like a whole whole shop of things on Etsy, like tons of shops, but do you get what I'm saying? But like this is a whole thing and I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Like I'm, I'm headed down, down the miniature rabbit hole. But I love my little miniature books. I love my real life books that I'm reading. And I'm just like, I'm just over here living my best life with reading books and making miniature books and building bookshelves and just all of these things. So that's my new obsession. You guys can check out book of the month link down below in the description box if that's something that you're interested in. If you're watching this and you're like, I'm not reading romance novels, like listen, Susan, give it a try, okay? 
give it a try. You might be making little books in the future. If you just, just read one, I recommend starting with this one. This was a really, really good one. I loved it. Again, read it in the fastest amount of time that I've ever read a book in my entire life. All right. Other than books, I have decided to step away from bedside nursing. I have been a med surge nurse, which really the hospital I work in, the med surge unit is more like a glorified nursing home. Um, we get some like med surge stuff. We get quite a bit of med surge stuff, but a lot of it is more of just your geriatric stuff. And we do um, a lot of physical therapy, PT and OT. So um, done my bedside nursing for the last two years. And I'm just, I'm burnt out. I'm really burnt out. Uh, working in a hospital can be extremely stressful. There's, you're just a number and I'm tired of just being a number. The, all of the staff members are just numbers. You can come and go, they don't care. Their um, turnover rate is ridiculously high at this hospital that I work at. And I'm just, I'm just tired of being a number. I wanna go somewhere else. And what I'm gonna do is case management and kind of home health stuff, which used to, for on and off for about 10 years, I did home health as an aide, so I would go into people's homes and cook up, cook for them and clean uh, for them and help them bath themselves and just help them with their ADLs and stuff, right? So I did that on and off, and I genuinely loved it because you really get to know the family. Like in a hospital, patients come and go, man. It's like really fast turnover rate with staff, but also really fast turnover rate with patients. So you don't really get to know these people, but in home health, you do. And, and you just get to make a better connection as a nurse, because that's what we are That's what we like to do, right, as nurses. If you're a nurse, you understand. You get into this because you want to help take care of people. And sometimes in the hospital, it feels like all you're doing is just loading them down with their medications, making sure they're golden, and then trying to chart, trying to put out all these little fire. Like, I just need a break from it. So taking a break for a while from bed, bedside nursing, I just put my two-week notice in actually the other day, and you guys, ah, oh, it feels so freeing, so freeing to do something new, try something different. The other thing that I've been focusing a lot on lately is out here in my she shed. There is this space over here that I really want to create like a comfy, cozy sitting area. I now have decided that I need a bookshelf and I want to do a couple of accent chairs. So I've been doing some research, you know, on my phone looking for accent chairs. And I found these gorgeous, gorgeous caramel leather accent chairs at Ashley Furniture. And I thought those are it. That's what I that's what I want to put in this space. They're that really pretty light caramel brown leather, so it's not too dark. And I just think that if I put those accent chairs out here, it'll warm the space up a bit. You guys can probably tell in this video, everything is like stark white except for that blue wall back there. So everything's a little sterile feeling, and I just want to bring a little bit of warmth. I mean. I have wood beams out here and you guys can see those. And so that that does help just a bit, but I wanna make it more warm and cozy. So anyways, found these gorgeous accent chairs that I fell in love with at Ashley Furniture. I call my mom and dad up and I'm like, hey, y'all wanna give me a ride to Barbersville, West Virginia, cause I need your truck, cause we're gonna go to Ashley Furniture and we're gonna get these accent chairs, we're gonna bring them home, I'm gonna build these things, I'm gonna get a rug, I'm gonna find a bookshelf, and I'm just gonna make this little cozy space, right? So we drive almost two hours away to get to Barbersville, West by God, Virginia, to Ashley Furniture because that was the closest one to us and they didn't have the chairs. I was so sad. And then I thought, okay, I'll just get online and I'll just order them. Well, I get online and it's gonna be 10 weeks before they even consider shipping them. We don't know that they're gonna ship in 10 weeks. They're just at least 10 weeks out. And I'm like, seriously, I have been looking for accent chairs for months. Like I knew I wanted to do that over here. I didn't know about the bookshelf until I started, you know, going down this rabbit hole, but I've been looking for months and I finally found these accent chairs that I am in love with and it's 10 weeks. So I didn't order them. I'm still considering ordering them. I'm probably going to order them, let's just be honest, but Really cannot wait to get that done and have this space set up so then I can set out here inside of my she shed and I can read my books. <laughs> oh, I have a problem. I guess the problem could be worse, right? Like, I mean, I have an addiction to coffee. I have other addictions. Um, I have other obsessions, like it is what it is. Honestly, what a whirlwind the last like week and a half has been. I've accomplished nothing and yet I've learned so much. It's just been a, it's been a very interesting week and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, like I said in the past couple of videos, I have no idea what I'm doing with this channel right now and so we're just kind of winging it and I don't know, do you guys like these kind of videos? Do you like learning about what's going on in my life? Do you guys want me to update you in a couple of weeks on, you know, I'm sure at that point the next 27 books that I've read, um, update about the new job, like you guys let me know if this is the kind of videos that you like to see and as soon as I get my accent chairs in, which 
be patient, might be 10 weeks. I want to show you guys how we are gonna set up the little sitting area inside of my she shed. Friends, it has been amazing talking to you. I, I really like this. I like sharing all the things that's going on in my life. So I hope you enjoyed it too, and I will see you in the next video.